We are currently approaching the end of the year and as every year I'm trying to ask myself who am I and what are my resolutions for the next year and every time I have no good answer uh, because I don't do diary, I don't keep track of what am I doing over the year and then I stumbled over a reddit post who was asking how he can export his YouTube history. And I thought to myself, I'm watching quite a lot of YouTube videos and that's also why I started this channel because I'm not only want to watch videos, but I also want to produce them. And then I was like, yeah, so I watch a lot of YouTube videos. So I have a history of what am I interested in and who am I and what I'm thinking and what I'm interested in every day, basically. I was just checking out the YouTube history and downloaded it. And I was like surprised how many videos I watched. So. Do it yourself, download your watch history and let's dive into how we can analyze it a bit and how to find out who are we and what are our passions, what we think about, what we are interested in based on our YouTube history. Because in the end, it's just our diary. So why not use it? Why not using our data? Uh, let me show you how you can download it and then how you can analyze these data with some Python. First thing, you go to Google Takeout. I will link it down in the description. You basically download your YouTube history. So as you can see, I already did it a few days ago. First thing, deselect everything and then search for YouTube. So you select YouTube and music. You don't want everything. You just want the history. And then you say you want the format of JSON because the history in CSV doesn't make a lot of sense. So let me search for it. History, it's HTML. This file is basically impossible to use. So use JSON. Okay. And you have one type selected in JSON format, next. And you will get the link via email. So you basically export it, create export, and this will be sent then to you. I already did it. I downloaded the file already. So let's take a look how it looks like. You basically get the watch history as a JSON format file with all the videos you ever watched. And then you have the capability of looking into it. So let's do that. I created a notebook, a Jupyter notebook to analyze the data. So the first thing is we import a few data like JSON, uh, some date parser, and we will load the file content and parse it into JSON. All right, ready. Next step is we want to have all the titles and we just take it as the last 300 days or the last year, let's say last 365 days. So we want only the last year to be analyzed and I don't want to have any shorts. I don't want to have every, anything that has a hashtag in it because usually shorts has these hashtags and no normal video has a hashtag in the title. So I want to filter out all the shorts because this is just too much stuff. And also no HTTPS in the description because this is also usually shorts that have a link in it. And then we basically go through it. We filter out the watched from the title because this is uh, the prefix. It usually, it's always starting with watched. So we remove that, we pass the date string and then we check uh, if the last date stamp versus the current date stamp is less than one minute. This is because I don't want to have the videos that I basically didn't watch. So whenever I have a video and immediately in the next minute I have the next video, it means that I watched it for less than a minute. That means uh, it's either a short or it's not interesting. So I clicked it away. So I don't want to have this in my list. Then I check for everything that contains an emoji because usually shorts contain emojis to even filter it further down, reduce everything that contains an emoji and anything that has this filter word in it. So whenever this is there, I just continue or if it is too old. And then I have everything that I want and I just take the title, remove everything that is in the second line and add it to my list of titles. And also I add it to my set of titles. So I want to have all the unique values in it and all the values that are double in it. So let's run it. Everything is gone through. 
All good. Let's see how many are in the list. I have 2200 videos in my list of videos from the last year that are probably long, long videos or at the end of a session. So it can also be a short. That's basically at the end of a session where I watched. So when I watched five shorts and then I stopped, it may be included. It could be. And um, I have 100 videos, roughly 100 videos that I watched at least twice. So let's take a look. In my duplicates, I will just check every video and count how many, uh, how often did I watch it. So I will put it into an object with the title as the key and the watch counter as the value. And then I want to see what are the videos that I watched the most often. Let's take the top five of them and print them out. So what did I watch multiple times are Chase and Status Boiler Room, amazing boiler room in London. I watched it six times. Yeah, makes a lot of sense because this is an amazing video. You have to watch it as well. I will link this one down in the description as well. Anyhow, I will link this boiler room in the video title as well because you have to watch it. Um, yeah, and then morning stretch yoga makes a lot of sense. And my own video, I watched it four times, makes also sense. I watched it four times because I want to see my errors and learn from it to get better. But the next step is more important. Let's start the analysis. Analysis and analyzes, analysis. The thing where we analyze it. So we load our open API key and create an open API client to send request to open API. Then we have a quite long prompt where we basically say, who am I? What's my passion? What am I interested in? And what's something that I should be known for? And that's something that's quite interesting for me. When you get asked, who are you? The first thing that you say is usually your job, but is it also something you're passionate about? Yeah, let's, let's run the prompt and see what the LLM thinks, who am I? So let's go there. We put in the titles. So we run basically the prompt. So we have this inside prompt and then we just send it to GPT. I choose the 4.0 mini because it's the cheapest. I don't want to have too much output. Let's say a thousand tokens. It's already quite a big output. And I don't want to hallucinate too much because it should be tailored to me. So the temperature can be between zero and two and I don't know why two, but honestly, two is way too much. We don't want to have the LLM to hallucinate a lot. We want to understand our titles, what we watched. And yeah, I think four, the 0.4 is already a pretty good value. So let's run it and see what the LLM thinks, who am I and what I'm interested in. And this can take up to 20 seconds. It's not the fastest because the LLM gets quite a big uh, input. Let's see what the output is. Also, it's not expensive. I was running it multiple times and I paid one cent per request or something like that. So it's a quite big request, but still you pay with the 4.0 mini just one, two cents. It's extremely cheap. So you have to create your own API token to get it running, but this is really cheap. So I seem to be interested in a wide range of topics, including technology, DIY, software engineering, and personal development. Yeah, I would agree on that. I like hands-on activities, problem solving and creativity, and I do a lot of fitness, well-being content and self-health care. Yeah, I agree fully on that. I would say this is basically what am I interested in and what I'm watching. I'm tech savvy. Yes, creative problem solver. I hope so. Uh, I see myself as one, but I hope so. And I enjoy exploring new ideas and technologies. And I have a strong interest in self-improvement, both personally and professionally. And I like a mix of entertainment and educational content. I see that to be true. Yes. I mean, it is quite flattering. It seems to be quite accurate. So it understands what my interests are, what I am thinking about, what I'm watching. So I think this is quite interesting and insightful. But what about next year? What should I concentrate on next year? What should I do next year? So I created another prompt and feed in the analysis from the prompt before. And let's say, what should I concentrate next year on? What should I spend more time on? Are there any topics where I should deep dive on? And 
this is basically trying to understand a bit more who am I and what should I be known for. So let's see what the LLM is saying about that. Fitness, well-being, DIY, projects, and yeah. This is how you can use LLMs and your watch history to understand yourself. And you can do it as well. I will link the Python file or the Jupyter Notebook uh, down below in a GitHub repository. You can download it and you can play around with the prompt. And I would love to see what are your ideas to find out who you are. What are good prompts that you think we could ask about ourselves? And this is something that you can explore. This is a big data set you can explore on and try to play around with LLMs, get into LLMs, how they work. And also you can find out a bit about yourself because for me, my watch history, it's a quite personal thing. It shows quite a lot about yourself, who you are, who you're interested in. And yeah, let me know who you are. I'm quite interested to see what the LLM outputs for you. And talking about what you are interested in. I hope you are interested in keyboard topics and you didn't have enough already because I received a package from Lowfree with new stuff that I want to show you in the next video that's coming up. It's basically a build about the retro split keyboard. So stay tuned for that. I wish you a great Christmas break, learn some coding, do the advent of code. I participated this year with Alex here. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe now, give me a thumbs up. This keeps me going and yeah, let me know what the LLM outputs for you. Have a great rest of the week. See you next time.